<laughs> pedal gear toy fun. What I've done is built up five of the exact same Range Master boost type circuits here. I'm going to be playing a Fender Mexico Strat through them all. So we got the same pickups. These are probably those you Tex Mex kind of slightly hotter, but they are single coil. You'll notice I'll be getting a little buzz if I'm not careful facing uh, in different directions here. We've got several different types of transistors here. Um, the OC71, the OC75, the OC44, and then a couple of NPN types of transistors, the OC139 and the GE1304. Um, this one, GE for germanium, I put on there. It's really a 2N1304 uh, transistor from Texas Instruments. Now the cool thing about these two is they can be powered by a power supply and, uh, and daisy chained with other pedals. These have no power jack, they run simply on a battery. I use a high brightness blue LED on here with a very uh, high value uh, current resistor uh, on there, 22K. So these batteries are gonna last you years in these things, okay? So you don't really have to worry about having a power supply for them so much, just have a spare battery on hand for festival gigs, you know? So the whole idea is that I wanna show you that there are tonal differences between these different transistors. Some people will say, oh, you know, all of them sound the same. It's, it's really not true. These are the, exactly the same circuits and these all have a different tone to them. All right, we're gonna start off with the OC71 and I've chosen to play this, uh, got a couple of uh, classic rock riffs here. Now, um, this one's a Judas Priest riff from their Sad Wings of Destiny album. <laughs> Okay, that's a cool way to test these out, is to have some sort of a riff, okay? If you go and play single notes, they're all gonna sound very similar. You'll notice that has a little more bite. They've all got a little bit of character, but a good rock riff is going to help you hear really how they come across. Okay, so OC71 first. I like to think of this one as the sort of uh, more finesse sound. This is great for blues players too, who don't want too much grit and drive. They don't want it to sound too fuzzy. <laughs> I do that queen riff, it's a little bit shorter. All right, we'll compare these three OC series like that. All right, so you'll notice a sort of increasing level of sort of fuzziness and even uh, compression to it because uh, uh, of the style of transistor that's in there, all right? So OC71, a little bit more finesse, something that might appeal to a blues player a little bit more. Um, OC75 is your classic all-around boost. The OC44 has got a lot more edge to it, and if you're looking to get into some maybe like stoner rock kind of sounds, uh, that might be something that's a better choice. <laughs> Yeah, that's really like a distortion overdrive almost, where as this one in the same situation. Yeah, it's just sort of taking your level and pushing it up in a much more even way without adding as much fizzy, gritty, fuzzy character. Let's go back to that Judas Priest riff um, and check out, we'll go from the OC75 here now and then check out the other two NPN ones. Uh, OC-139. What I really like about the OC-139 is it has a little bit more of a trimmed bottom end. Now, um, that, uh, you know, we're already talking about a, uh, 
uh, a range master, it's a treble boost, and you know you can uh, adjust the amount of low end that you're getting. Really, this is set at maximum uh, treble. But uh, what, what's cool about this one is it just has a slightly different mid-range than that. I, and I actually prefer this one. In the beginning, that doubled up riff I did, I actually used this with a filter on, and I'll talk about that in a second, and this one. And they were panned left and right, and I thought that was a nice combination. Finally, um, the 1304 over here. Okay, we'll compare to the OC75 again. <laughs> that up a little bit but also you know if anybody's thinking that like an npn transistor uh germanium doesn't have the tone of the old pnp positive ground style that's also that's just a myth these bolts sound great this one has a lot of similarities to the oc75 um i feel like it has a little bit more clarity in the top end um and the, the mid-range is uh also not as compressed as something like the oc44 so I build these pedals also, you know, and if you're looking now to order one of these, here's your flavors that you can pick from, okay? And this is sort of going to be my new um, sort of budget flagship pedal. I want to make boosts that everybody can get to use. Let's take the uh, OC75 as it's sort of standard. Watch what happens when I turn from the range, turned all the way up to all the way back here which makes it really a full range boost. And it starts to turn into a little bit more of a fuzz. Alright, so you've got the option of really having that be then Okay, and then there's two types of cuts that are going on. Two types of cuts that are going on here. In the middle of this uh, switch position, uh, there's no cutting going on, all right? That's just pure the way it is. Now, click over to the left side, and that's just sort of a fix for things like uh, hiss, uh, picking up radio stations, uh, that kind of stuff that you might run into in certain studios at your house, uh, at a gig or something like that. And that's going to be a barely noticeable little cut on the high end. Let's uh, check that out. Um, boost all the way up and on the treble side. Okay, can't really hear it. But it is going to take care of nasty whistling, hissing, fizzing little things that you'll have sometimes. Um, I might get over to show you putting this on top of a little Vox amp and how it started to squeal until you turn that off. But um, now this uh, position over here, the Mo Cut. Okay, that's going to take some of that brashness off the top. And what's really cool is if you listen to those old Priest records and stuff like that, you're going to hear that those, those guitar sounds are not heavily distorted. They're not a uh, really modern uh, gent kind of crunch. Although, you know, you put this in front of another distortion pedal to push that over the edge, um, especially a cool amp simulator pedal, and you're going to wind up with a really, uh, really cool modern sound. But um, if you really want to get that classic sound, putting on that Mo Cut side there is going to give you a really warm tone. So uh, let's talk about just bluesy tones for a second. Back off the guitar's volume a little bit. standard kind of thing. Okay. 
Oh, like Frank Zappa once said, it's like the ice pick in the forehead. And here comes the ice pick. Now, if that's uh, uh, not pairing up with your amp so well, that can also happen. Then use the cut switch to, to get it into the groove. Anyway, I've been going on a lot here. I hope this really helps you. This is meant to be an informative video as well, of course, as an ad for um, my pedals here. But um, I hope that uh, it'll start an interesting discussion too about the differences between transistors, you know. There really is a tonal difference uh, between a different ones. So selection of transistors in pedals is very important. Here's your menu. Thanks for tuning in and uh, check back real soon. I've got a shootout of some small combo amps coming up and I'm going to introduce yet another pedal and we're going to sneak in hopefully another little lesson or idea here too. Take care and thanks for tuning in.